In tonight's special report, nurses say they won't stay silent any longer about violence from patients. Healthcare workers are nearly five times more likely than other employees to suffer violent acts at work. CBS 2's Rachel Kim looks into what's behind this dangerous trend. It all happened at this hospital behind me. A firefighter and two employees of the hospital were stabbed also. Stabbing the very people trying to help him. As an emergency room nurse, I have been slapped, pinched, spat on. Emergency room nurse Elizabeth Hawkins is talking about the hazards of her job. I want to make sure that I'm coming home to my family every night, that the other nurses are going home to their family. In 2013, Hawkins suffered a concussion and severe injuries when she was attacked by a mentally ill patient. Came over a full fist into my head. I was on a rolling stool at the time, so I flew into the wall. It took four grown men to hold him down. Hawkins didn't return to work for three months. The patient was never charged. Elizabeth's story sounds horrifying, but it's not unusual. Violent injuries among healthcare workers in California doubled between 2011 and 2012, with rates continuing to go up in 2013. Now medical personnel, especially in the ER, worry each night that their lives are at risk. Say 10 30, 11 p.m. I was at the nurse's station. Four years ago, emergency room nurse Maria Gaitan suffered severe neck injuries when she was attacked by an intoxicated patient who tried to choke her with a stethoscope. She had the stethoscope with a good pull. I was not trying to pull back because I knew. Um, that she could probably choke me if I try to get out. Gaitan was out of work for six weeks. Today, she chooses not to work weekend nights when substance abuse cases in the ER are at their highest. Both she and Hawkins are now joining other nurses, demanding better protection for hospital personnel. We've had reports of nurses being pummeled to the ground, assaulted in the emergency room, cold cocked by patients. Nurses Union Executive Denise Duncan says she's seen the increase in violence and points to one key reason why. Mental health patients are now being boarded in our health care facilities because of lack of mental health beds. And our registered nurses, our health care workers, they're not prepared to take care of that population of patients. In California, it is not a felony to assault a health care worker, so hospitals are many times left to monitor themselves, and law enforcement is reluctant to get involved, as both nurses found out when they insisted on filing a police report. I was kind of angry because I thought, if this were one of your own, we wouldn't be doing this. But because I'm a nurse and because I work in this environment and this is considered part of what I do, that it was okay. By July of next year, every hospital facility in California is required to have in place procedures and training to prevent and report these violent incidents. People are being knocked out, comatose, beaten. But these nurses worry the regulations won't go nearly far enough if more healthcare professionals don't come forward with their testimony before Cal OSHA. And I've never felt like that in 31 years that. I might not see my daughters grow up. That was just traumatic for me. For now, nurses like Maria and Elizabeth say this is not the career they signed up for. Nobody takes a job thinking that they're not going to go home. And it's not right. It's not okay. Well, the California Hospital Association and Cal OSHA are working on new ways to keep employees and patients safe, of course. Yeah, the next hearing on workplace violence is a week from tomorrow in Costa Mesa. We have more information on CBSLA.com.